on, guys. So Game of Thrones season four is hitting the home stretch. It's been intense, am I right? Man, sometimes I get so worked up that I forget that these are actors playing roles. Plus, I don't know the difference between real and pretend. So right now, we're gonna peek behind the Iron Throne and take a closer look at the cast of Game of Thrones. Let's start off with the biggest heads in Westeros, the Lannisters. So they may be super despicable and hateable on the show, but in real life, they're kind of delightful. Look at this picture of them on this awesome beach vacation. Pretty cool. They even find time to horse around with their mortal enemies. Check out that face on Dinklage. You guys remember Black Hawk Down, pretty good war movie that featured like every young actor in Hollywood. Among them was Nikolai Coaster Waldau, Jamie Lannister. How back? My leg's broken. My back feels kind of weird. Gotta get you out of here, buddy. While we're at it, I don't want to forget Jamie's brother, everyone's favorite Lannister, Peter Dinklage. Now he's got a great body of work, awesome actor. All that aside, Check out this cool footage of him and his brother horsing around while he's about to go on trial for his very life. Dude totally knows how to party. Let's talk about Cersei Lannister, AKA Lena Headey. Now, before she was trying to frame her brother, she was trying to save humanity. She was Sarah Connor and Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. You lying Terminator bitch. You're building Skynet. And here's something kind of cool. Amelia Clark, who looks nothing like Daenerys Targaryen in real life, is slated to play Sarah Connor in the upcoming Terminator film. Two Sarah Connors in Westeros. Cersei and Daenerys aren't the only ones with Schwarzenegger connections. Charles Dance, AKA Tywin Lannister, he was in Last Action Hero. He played the bad guy, you know, with the freaky glass eye. Hannibal Lecter can do the catering. And then we'll all have a christening for Rosemary's baby. No sequel for you. Let's talk Eddard Stark, played by Sean Bean. You know him as the guy that has died in everything, but do you remember that he was Pierce Brosnan's first Bond villain in 1995's GoldenEye? What's the matter, James? No glib remark? No pithy comeback? Oh, and um, spoiler alert, he dies in that too. One of my hands down favorite characters is Arya Stark. The character is played by Maisie Williams. Now, she's a very young actress and we couldn't find any acting stuff from her, but we did find maybe the best Vine ever. Check out her reaction to the Red Wedding. They dead, like so dead, like OMG dead. My mother and brother are dead. By the old gods and the new, I declare that cool as hell. Let's talk about Arya's road trip buddy. Sandor Clegane, the Hound. Now, before Rory McCann was the toughest burn victim in Westeros, he was in Hot Fuzz, playing the best one-word character since Hodor. Michael! Yar. Child vomit aisle six, Muppet out. Yar. Now, the Hound's brother, the Mountain, has been played by three different actors, but the current actor playing him, Hafthor Julius Bjornsson, is a competitor in those ESPN strongman competitions. And he's done it! We've got another leading time, Bjornsson this time. We've given Bran Stark a hard time on the show before, but one of our favorite characters is played by Christian Nairn. Hold on. Before he spent his days hodoring around, he was a DJ. I've been DJing for 20 years now. Um, it's, it's always going to be a, a big part of my life. DJ Hodor on the ones and twos. Here he is dropping a beat with Arya Stark at the Game of Thrones party. Oh, and by the way, he and Bran, total bros in real life. No rundown of the Stark clan would be complete without mentioning Kit Harrington. Here he is giving mad respect to his brother Rob Stark wearing that shirt. The Stark boys roll deep, for real. No one puts Jon Snow in his place like Egret, played by Rose Leslie. Now, she may play a lowly, dirty wildling on Game of Thrones, but she cleans up nicely. By that, I mean she played a maid on Downton Abbey. We don't think our dreams are bound to come true because, because they almost never do. Let's not forget about Jon's BFF, Sam. Check out Jon Bradley in a Stark Tyrell sandwich. Nice work, big guy. Oh, and did you know that Sam's girlfriend, Gilly, and Gendry were on the British show Skins together? I'm sorry I got you sacked. Oh, I would have happened sooner or later. 
How about a little Dark Knight Game of Thrones crossover action? Before he was the poster child against incest, Jack Gleason was the cute little kid in Batman Begins. I can't find my mom. <laughs> How did he become such a little f***ing piece of s***? Now, keeping up with this Dark Knight connection, Aiden Gillen, who plays Peter Littlefinger Baelish, he was in the beginning of Dark Knight Rises. Don't you remember that? If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy. For you. Bane could completely be a Game of Thrones character. Slap a respirator on the mountain and you got him. Next at the small council table, actor Julian Glover, who plays... Pycelle. He was the bad guy in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade who drank from the wrong grail. <laughs> he chose poorly. Next around the table, Conleth Hill, who plays Varys. Before he was conniving and double dealing and scheming in King's Landing, he was starring in a Woody Allen movie, Whatever Works. It's pear shaped. Dega used to distinguish between an apple-shaped behind and pear-shaped, and I'm a big fruit eater. Natalie Dormer plays Marjorie Tyrell. She is a very attractive, but then she had to go and marry that weasel King Joffrey. She needs a good man, like Captain America. You're a hero. Well, that, you know, that, that depends on the definition. Really. The women of America, they owe you their thanks. And uh, seeing as they're not here, Let's talk about our dead king, Robert Baratheon, played by the actor Mark Addy. Now, before he was dying on a hunting trip in King's Landing, he was shaking what his mama gave him in the full Monty. I believe in miracles, be you came along, you sexifying. I'm telling you, if King Robert had those kind of dance moves, he might still be alive. I don't know how, but he might be. So what was the coolest tidbit we just laid out there? Did we leave anything out? Let us know in the comments section below the coolest answer. You're gonna get a Screen Junkies t-shirt. And by the way, speaking of Screen Junkies t-shirts, one of our viewers sent us this masterpiece. He's wearing his Screen Junkies shirt with Gus Fring, Giancarlo Esposito. That blows my mind. See, dreams do come true and people get these shirts. So leave comments. I wanna thank you for watching Screen Junkies. I'm Hal Rudnick, hit me up on Twitter. Bye bye. Everything's just so bland and mediocre and like, remember, summer movies used to be great. No, now, we used to be younger. Yes. That's the other thing, Nick. <laughs> we we, we used to be we younger. We are way more critical now. <laughs>